How y'all doing? It's Preacher Man on being the snow episode of Retro TV 91. And this time I'm doing another movie reviews. And this time I'm reviewing Death Warrant. And what Death Warrant is, is another Sean Claude Van Damme movie. And this time Sean Claude Van Damme is playing a guy named uh, Louis Burke. And he's an undercover cop. And at the beginning of the movie, he's going after the guy who murdered his partner. And the guy who murdered his partner is Sandman. And he's a serial killer. So Burke goes in to this abandoned warehouse by himself. Unlike he was supposed to, he was supposed to work, wait for his backup, but he doesn't, and he goes in, and Sandman attacks him, and cuts him in the stomach, and then Burt puts six shots in Sandman, and we as the viewers think Sandman's dead, but uh, we find out later on maybe that ain't, well anyway, Burt, then six months later, Burt meets up with these guys, and they want him to go undercover into this prison, and what's happening in this prison his inmates are getting stabbed in the back of the head and murdered and they the guys Bert's working for wants to know why and Bert uh, decides to go into the prison and do this and he goes in and he meets this guy Hawkins and he's the guy who gives you your uh, your in, uh, inmate outfit in the, when you first go into prison and then he befriends him and he Hawkins helps him figure out what's going on so, uh, to do this, Burke has to go in to where Hopkins is, and he has to go into the, the African American territory, and he goes in, and he, everybody's staring him down because he's white, and he goes in, and he asks Hopkins how he figured this stuff out, and he, Hopkins tells him to go to Priest. So, Burke goes to Priest, and Priest is the guy in the prison that can get anything, and he, they go down there, and Priest offers him some stuff, but Hop, uh, uh, Bert turns it down, and he just wants information about these killings. And Priest tells him to go talk to the guy who works in the hospital, the hospital wing of the prison at night. So Bert goes to talk to him, and he tells him that the there's things going on where people are getting killed, and for some reason, but this guy doesn't know. Well, later on in the movie, Burke finds out the reason these people are getting killed is it's because they're getting killed because of their organs. Because Burke and Hopkins finds the container where it got human hearts and all this other stuff, and Burke puts two and two together. Well, uh, after this, or before this, Sandman shows up at the prison, and he's getting transferred to the prison. And the reason Sandman gets transferred to the prison is because the lawyer that uh, Burke is working for is behind this whole thing and he doesn't want him to get incarcerated for this because his wife was dying and she needed a liver and he met this guy who did this, killed inmates and got organs and after this he found out that there was a lot of money in this and they kept doing this and Sandman's there to shut Burke up well, after Sam arrives, everybody knows that Burt's under the cop now, so everybody's after him. So Burt uh, tricks one of the guards to come to the cell, and Burt wires the cell to electrocute whoever touches it, and the guard touches it and electrocutes on Burt gets keys. Well, he escapes and he lets all the inmates out, and then he, he's running and to one of the guards, and they close the uh, gates, and they put him in this room, and they start beating on him, and we find out that all these people are in on this, and then... Uh, they get away, and Hopkins and Priest help Burt try to escape, and then Sandman shows up, and at the end of the movie, the big fight between Sandman and Burt happens, and all the prisoners are watching, and Burt has to kick Sandman into an infirmary, in a, into a incinerator, and Sandman still gets up, and he still doesn't die, and then Burt kicks him into a valve, and it punctures back of his head into it, and he's still alive. And Burt pushes his head up and kills Sandman. And then all the prisoners let him loose. And that's all that really happened on this movie. Uh, if y'all never watched Death Warrant, what did y'all like about this movie? As always, Prince Man, I'll be signing out. That's Gigi's awesome. This has been another episode of Retro TV. So, next time.